All right, looks like this video is going to be a little more complicated to film. When have I ever let that stop me? Okay, so I briefly popped out into the st into the into College subway station, wondering if service had resumed yet. Because while I was walking up Young Street, I heard I felt a southbound train beneath my feet. Unfortunately, there are none of those wayfinding screens at mezzanine level, which there really should be one. I should be able to tell the service is resumed before going into the gate line. Anyway, my plan is streetcar over to the other side of the U, head up to Bloor, and then take line two over to Royal York, head down to Mimico. So, I went on to the TTC's website and checked and saw that there is indeed train service back between Osgood and Bloor Young. So, time to catch the subway. We have our now traditional walk down the platform level montage. Okay, so there actually is a screen at mezzanine level, but it's inside the fair gate. Alright, so that train being shortly after the end of the service suspension was busier than you would expect a midday train to be. It's about a 7 out of 10 on, on the uh, Scott Marshall scale. And now we're just heading down to line 2. That's an eastbound train, don't have to worry about that one. Now we're pulling into Spadina Station. It is listed as a transfer station on the on the map, but it's a long walk between the two. So if you're going to do that, go to St. George instead. In fact, when the Spadina subway was first opened in the 19 whenevers, it'll pop up on screen. When it first opened back then, I think it was 1974. The Spadina station on line one was originally planned to have a different name. I think Next station Hendon. Dr. Station. So we're between Dufferin and Lansdowne now. Lansdowne is just shown as a Lansdowne. Lansdowne station. Lansdowne is just shown as a regular station, no sort of connector blobs on the TTC map. Soon it will get a T it will get a connector blob though, as the Barry line will probably be getting a station at at Lansdowne. Probably after they get the station open at Caledonia. But yeah, glad to see that there's going to be more connections to go in the TTC. To account not just people who want to go to downtown. So as we're going up to Kiel, when Line 2 Bloor Downforth was first constructed... Oh yes, open cut. When Line 2 was first constructed... There was, the, the terminus was actually here at Kiel, or um, a bit down the line at Kiel. It was here at Kiel. 
You know what? I'm leaving that in. Old Mill, the undisputed, most beautiful TTC station on the network. Now I'm sitting near the back of the train, so I'm just tempted to cut here and pretend like the other half of the st with like the front half, the, like the west half of the station, which just looks like a regular line two station, just doesn't exist. But I'm not going to. And anyway, the next station is Royal York, which is where I will be getting off and taking a bus. The next station is Royal York. Royal York Station. And now Might as well break this up with some talking. During, you know, I really, I really do like seeing the old T1s. And I don't know that this is still the same. They're the standard thing in service online too. But I really, I really think we should have, you know, we should have the old trains and the new trains for historical, nostalgic value. I think personally, the line I think keep at least a few T1s available until until something comes along to replace the Toronto rocket. What do you say? Perfect timing. I finished my, I finished my sentence right as the uh, train on the eastbound platform leaves. taking the 76, I think it's marked A, B, I think both will get me down to Newcastle Street, which is where I get off from Mimico Go. Riding my bike up into into the northern parts of Tobacco, that was the way I'd go. Seventy three is the world war, but I want the world war. That was the seventy six. Two light car. I'm sorry. Anyway, on the bus. So we had to wait about four minutes for a scheduled departure here. Um, from now, uh, Richardson, uh, Thompson Avenue, we got, we have 15 minutes, we have 15 minutes to catch the train at Mimico Go Station, requiring us to get off at Newcastle Street. So I've gotten off the bus at Newcastle Street, and now I'm just starting to walk down to Mimico Go Station. There was actually, like, no joke, there was a, a guy just as a cowboy on the bus. Like, like, uh, the, the jacket, the hat, the boots. I think he even had, like, uh, the bell, bells on him. Anyway, leaf blower's about to turn on, beware of loud noise.
Okay, so track one is not located directly at the north end of the stage. Well, platform one is not located directly at the north end of the station like it is at Oakville. I have to go under the tracks. Okay, I wonder if me tripping on the stairs and falling over got in, got in there. If it is, I'll leave it in. If it's not, oh well, because it might have accidentally shut off the camera recording. Ugh, that was not pleasant. Anyway, my train boards, well, this is a 10 car train. Look, check it out. VRL and go. Well, I'm gonna try and head back as far as I can because I like to be behind the accessibility coach because that gets me the closest to my exit. <sighs> Which I'd prefer to say is the bus terminal, but I'm ashamed to say it's the six story parking garage where I drive to the station. I've made it to Mimico and have uh, managed to successfully avoid Union Station.